Good morning, we're here at Believe Housing in Seaham for the latest Level Up Live event. Today we're talking about one of the most essential subjects, jobs, skills, education, getting that pipeline just right. We've got a panel of experts waiting for us, and an audience eager to hear what's happening in this region. Let's see how it goes. Today has been absolutely fantastic to, to see and hear about the, the region itself and how it's up and coming and talk to other kind of functional experts and people within the audience targeting the, the main issues around about the skills gap. There is something in seeing somebody like you doing something. So it feels like that career or that aspect of society is accessible to you. How many people can't work nine to five? You know, male, female, old, young. So why can't we make offers to people? Well, how can you work? When can you work? How many hours can you give? And I think sometimes we need to consider is you know that, that role itself, that skill set. You know, when we ask for five years of experience, do we really need it? Um, it's massively important for, for everybody, sort of people and business. And we're seeing some gaps now that we need to start and think about what we need for the future. So we know that there's huge recruitment issues in our economy right now. So it's good to make sure that people are on the same wavelength and also have shared values in solving the problems we see today. You know, the, the world is digitizing and the same goes for everyday life but it, it's also the case for industries. So we're seeing a lot of the same jobs and the same products being done, but people are finding more efficient ways to do them. And that is through the use of more advanced technologies. So you talk about construction, or is it, you know, what's, what's required? A bit of manual dexterity. Have you ever played a computer game before? Well, actually you could probably control a digger. That's the future. Yeah. And you'll still get paid the same pay, better hours, better working conditions. And actually a lot of these digital things are really transformative for deprived communities because actually kids are exposed to screen time. You know, in, in a way that in the past, sort of higher paid occupations and advancing in career might have been difficult for people to transcend uh, the communities they grew up in. Actually, digital and tech doesn't because they all know it and do it. Yeah, really important. It's great just to have so many different partners and sectors in the room. You know, we can't tackle all of this individually. We've got to work together. We've got to work collaboratively. I think today's event has been um, quite exciting, actually. It's great to hear from the different partners about their visions, what they're doing as companies and how we can all collaborate together to inspire the next generation. For us as an organisation we're seeing this increase in expectations of standards, building safety standards, professionalise the sector, more qualifications required. So I think that link between business, colleges, government is absolutely essential if we're going to sort of resolve some of those problems now. The world of business and the education landscape, it, we need to broker more partnerships. And that could be everything from early skills investment, skills lesson plans, aligned to the curriculum, aligned to career pathways. And at the end of it, you've got a well-rounded individual who's learned locally and hopefully they'll stay local because they've got this you know, range of knowledge about the business and, and how it works. It's not the job you're doing now, it's what potential you have as a person to do that. I think it's a great opportunity as well for us to share those experiences, to join forces and um, to try and address some of the skills shortages and some of the gaps that we've got. We've got a fantastic range of membership and some businesses really have thought about the talent pipeline quite thoroughly. Yeah. But for other businesses who maybe haven't engaged with young people as much, they are going to struggle because what young people want out of work is completely different. And the most important skill all of us have is stopping and listening. Yeah. And when we listen, then we'll know what to do better. But at the moment, I don't think, as a society, we're that good at, at changing quickly and listening. 